and gentlemen and welcome inside the pregame show here at 91.1 WRMU. We are just moments away from kickoff at Mount Union Stadium as the Purple Raiders get set to take on Rose Holman in the season opener. But beforehand, we've got an interview first. We're with sophomore running back Josh Petroselli. Josh, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing great. And we're here with the returner, Jawanza Evans-Morris, a senior running back. Jawanza, how are you feeling? I'm all right. How about yourself? Doing great. All right, let's get into it, guys. Uh, obviously, last season was a national championship season, a big year for you guys. Juwanza, st- starting with you, describe last year's championship run. What were your takeaways through the 2017 season? Uh, we had a lot of firepower. You know, uh, We had a lot of spots to fill, losing a lot of seniors um, from the 2016 year, being, you know, uh, we had we lost some quarterbacks, we lost BJ, such like that. So coming into it, we, had, we were real optimistic and we were very hungry to get back to, um, you know, that champion uh, stature. So... We got some real gifts like Petro here, and, you know, that just helped us, you know, boost us and get us back where we wanted to be. And, Josh, describe your, you know, takeaway from freshman year coming in, championship run. I mean, it was definitely different coming in because I didn't know how the atmosphere was. But, I mean, like Wanza said, we our firepower on both sides of the ball was just insane, and it helped us get to where we wanted to be. And, Jawanza, we saw you guys went down with a a couple of injuries last season, a couple guys here and there. Some were able to return, some were out for the season. You yourself dealt with an injury, uh, but you were able to play through it, and you still got through uh, the playoffs with it. Describe just playing through that injury and how you were able to persevere through that. Um, You know, it's primarily it's mental. You know, know, it hurt, you know, being injured, but, you know, if I was hurt, I you know having a dependable guy like Petro, you know if I if I needed a player to call him in stuff like that. But fighting through injuries is is part of the game, you know. And um, as we get older, you got to realize you know that you can't really afford to sit out if you want yourself and and um, the team to succeed as well. So you got to do your part, even if you know that's sacrificing your body. Yeah, for sure. And you know, Josh, looking at you, you come from the high school level, had a great season freshman year coming into Mount Union. Uh, last year we would call it a standout. You know, talk about the changes that you had to make from that high school level making it to the collegiate level. I mean, it was. It, I mean, there, the changes were like immense. Like I played both ways, high school all all the time, and when I got here, I focused on one position. And I was playing running back here, mm-hmm. and I mean, it just helped me become a better player in general. And Josh, sticking with you, last season you showed off your hurdling skills a bit in, <laughs> in a lot of games last season. Uh, most coaches, you know, frown upon putting yourself in the air during a play. But, uh, you know, first, you know, describe the split-second, you know, thought process that you have to make while you're carrying the ball to say, all right, I'm going to hurdle this guy. Not going to lie. I mean, I don't think about it at all. It's just, like, instinct. Mm-hmm. Like, I see that guy, I'm just – Next day, now I'm over. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously, you know, I, like I mentioned, you know, some coaches aren't really, you know, too happy about them. But just how do your coaches feel that in general? If they give you the green light, if you see that situation, do they tell you just go for it? Uh, it's like so-so. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if I if I get over them, they they're fine with it. Mm-hmm. But there was a couple times I didn't, and they just wish I would lower my shoulder and got the extra extra yards. And Jawan's looking at you last season. Uh, you were a thousand plus yard rusher, eleven touchdowns, five a hundred plus yard games. Also named to that All OAC second team last season. What did last season mean to you to win that national championship in your junior year? Uh, it was um it was real vital to me because uh, my freshman year I was there to witness the 2015, but I didn't really contribute much because you know I was a you know freshman. We had a, a lot of stars on the team: T. Scott, Logan. Uh, BJ, Roman, you know, we were loaded. So, you know, just witnessing, um, you know, those guys go out there and perform and get that, you know, get that trophy and be, you know, it was great. But to follow it up, you know, that 2016 year, not to even get back there, that was, that was painful. So, you know, I was like, okay, you know, at this point, I've, I've seen the best and the worst. So, and I I want the best back because the worst didn't feel good at all. You know, flying, you know, 
across the country right. just to just to lose. Mm-hmm. That was that was heartbreaking. So, you know, I just you know over the summer and the spring, all of us, uh, you know, the juniors, you know, who were there for that uh, 2016 year, we came back like, you know, we can't have it, you know. So everybody got in that weight room, and you know, even the little things started to pay off. Even when we were down, you know, 25, the little things that you know we started doing in the spring started showing up, especially you know when we close that deficit so you know everybody felt like it was vital yeah and that team last season really did seem like a team with a chip on its shoulder they wanted to get back to that national championship and you guys did prove that and you know Jawanza we just talked about your junior year you're now going to your fourth and final year here for the Purple Raiders senior year yeah we have witnessed you progress so much on the field from that freshman year that you took it here at Mount Union you're now going into this final season what is your main focus now on the field after taking so much you know if you look back at it and take all of it that you did over the past three years, what are you bringing into this year? Um, you know, with Mount Union, you, you really have to carry over a lot of experience. You know, you got to uh, prove, and you got to not only carry it with you, but prove that you've, like, learned something from that experience. So just, you know, little stuff from the defense, reading the defense, you know, the blocking schemes. You just got to add up certain things and prove that you know it on the field, you know. So it's like, you know, I've been there on, the you know, tough games where it's like, 20 yards, 14 carries. I've been on the good games, you know, every it seems like every run is a break, so you just got to have a good mentality and go out there and perform. You know, guys, I also have to kind of touch on, uh, before we kind of move on of last season in the semifinal game against Wisconsin Oshkosh, you guys travel up uh, to Oshkosh. You guys trail 25 in the second half. You're able to come back in that one. You two yeah. had great games, and uh, Josh, starting with you on this one, th- just describe the atmosphere in that game. You guys are down 25 on the road, but you're somehow able to ba- battle back and get back to the national title. I mean, everyone on our team, we just kept focused the whole the whole game. I mean, on the sideline, we were focused. We were in the game no matter what. I mean, there could have been some doubt, but like we we were we were, we knew we were in the game the whole time, no matter like score or anything. Juwan's mm-hmm. the same thoughts. Yeah, like at a certain point, it was like we we looked at the clock and it was just like. It didn't really feel like we were down 25. It just like kind of felt like mm-hmm. we were just beating ourselves at that point. And once like everybody collectively realized, okay, like I think like, we need to get it together. And that's when we hit that switch and nobody could stop us. After that, next thing you know, we in stack. No, guys, just kind of looking at yourself, Josh, for you, you came from Perry High School. You were named All-Ohio, All-Conference, and All-District selection at your time at Perry. How did you find your way over to Mount Union? Uh, My recruiting coach, Charlie, he – Charlie Avila, he was probably at my <laughs> senior year. He was, he went to a lot of games. He's probably at five or so. And my, into going into my senior year, I like had a knee injury. Mm-hmm. I had had to get surgery, so I felt a little slow. But I knew, like, I wanted to go to Mount because they were the only team very in, like invested in me like mm-hmm. the whole time throughout mm-hmm. the season. And Jawanza, this kind of slipped by. You know, I usually like to ask this question. You were on Purple Raider sit down, you know, right. last year, but I didn't ask you this. You know, obviously, you come from Terravella High School in Coral Springs, Florida. Obviously, another one of those guys that's a Florida kid that's had success here at Mount Union. Yeah. How'd you find your way up here? Oh man, um, my senior year was kind of rough. I initially had some offers, but that's you know neither here nor there. But uh, you know, so my senior year, I was out for like half of it. I sprained my ankle like three times uh, consecutively. So I finished strong, and um, you know, people were reaching out to me, this and that. Mount Union reached out to me, but you know, I kind of like looked it over. So we had like a recruiting fair, you know, down south. We had like a big recruiting fair, I had like my name tag on and everything. <laughs> and um, I was going around to all these schools, there's like 30 schools in this little gym. I'm going around. I'm going to every. I'm going to um, Weber, Shenandoah, you know, um, Adrian, and everybody. Like Mount was like my last stop because it was like by the door. We're like, all right, we're gonna hit Mount, and we're out of here. So we walk up. And then um, Chris Denton, mm-hmm. there's like an uh, overseer. He was down there recruiting and stuff. He saw my name. He pulled me out of the crowd. He sat me down and he just opened the case of rings and he started pointing out every team <laughs> and telling them to the score about how much they beat them by. They said, "You see Adrian?" I was like, "Yeah, I was about to go over there." He said, "We just beat them 81 to seven. I was like, "What?" <laughs> so, and then he started pointing out. He's pointing out everybody owing you. I'm like, hmm. And then like that's when he opened the case and he saw the rings. He said, "You want one of these?" I was like, "Yeah, I want one of those." I was like, come to Mount. I was like, all right. Well, you know, Jawadza, you now have two of those rings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, you touched on you were a part of that 2015 national title uh, championship game. Uh, you also 2017, so you've got two under your belt. Uh, does one feel different than the other? Does one kind of have more significance? They both 
they're both are so you know just great feelings because you know 2015 that's the that's the first one freshman year I get in I'm a champ so that 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 was surreal but there's not there's you know 2017 that one's gonna have a special place because you know we've been through so much right I personally like you know it's like I, we were fighting through injuries and controversies and things like that you know and it was just it just felt so good to you know reach that goal at the end of the day put that trophy in the air oh yeah add a number add another number on that uh in the gully 2017 and uh guys for both of you josh starting with you on this one we witnessed the team last season average about 20 230 yards uh on the ground per game and you know we talked about the offensive lineman josh before we even started about how how many ended up graduating we talked about guys like cole Parrish, matt fitchett mike irizari all those guys ended up graduating after last season's championship run Coming into this season, can you guys discuss who will fill those O-line roles and what will it take for the, the same success on the ground this season? Uh, well, filling those roles is sure. I mean, he had experience last year. He's a great, great player. Mm-hmm. Klaus is back. I mean, we got uh, Tavis up in the uh, center. Um, left guard, Johnny Todd, and left tackle is who is it? Steve. Steve. So, I mean, they – they've worked all summer they've been yeah. grinding out they're getting better they look like a veteran group like they could be yeah. a veteran group and Juwan's when you look at this new offensive line is there a, a different change on how you you know come into the game or is it almost the same as you saw last season like I said earlier uh you know it might be it might be up to uh, me and Petro just to bring like a, a different kind of like a like a veteran complex to it because like a, um they our our line isn't necessarily young but when it comes to like playing time and like on field experience there we're not really like you know because like we just got rid of like three year four year starters and Fitchett and Parrish and stuff like that so we have linemen that have seen the field but not like you know mm-hmm. really been like you know so I I do have 100 percent faith in them that you know they go out there and perform everybody has you know uh rooms of improvement but you know we go out there and ball it's Mount Union so you know what we're gonna do you got it and guys let's look into today's matchup Rose Holman to begin the 2018 campaign at Mount Union Stadium uh, first, guys, I have to bring up, Josh, so with you, uh, under the lights, 7 o'clock game. Uh, first one at Mount Union in, I think, about three years. Last time they did it was against Muskingum. What are your thoughts coming into a game like that? Uh, I mean, it's going to be exciting. exciting. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm hoping for the crowd to be packed and everything, and, I mean, it's probably going to have that high school under the lights mm-hmm. feeling. And, you know, Jawan's, a, I guess, you know, I think it was our freshman year mm-hmm. that we saw Muskingum at night. Yeah. And now you get to experience Mount Union Stadium under the lights again. How does that feel? Oh, man. I, I've been waiting, to be honest. I, I've been night games, but I haven't had a home one yet. But I've been waiting. And, um, you know, I feel like it's going to be great, you know, watching. watching. I wasn't even playing, really, Muskingum. But watching, you know, the boys out there performing, lights out, the fan going crazy, you know. It's, it's going to be a good experience, especially for a season opener. Definitely going to be a good one. And, uh, Josh, looking into uh, more of the fighting engineers from Rose Holman. Uh, last season they had an 8-2 record. Uh, they missed the NCAA playoffs uh, with those two losses. However, they had a great rush defense last season, only allowing about 83 yards per game on the ground for their opponents. Uh, Josh, what do you believe will be the keys to have success against Rose Holman on the ground? Uh, definitely blocking their DN. He led the – all NCAA, all divisions in sacks last year, mm-hmm. and just I mean, being being big up front. I mean, our our linemen are going to have to step up against that D line and show out. Juwanza, your thoughts? Uh, going off what Petro said, you know, of course their DN, you know, preseason All American, you know, high accolades and stuff like that, you know. Um, but it's not only him, you know. They're they're a pretty um solid team. You can see they're very um well oiled machine, very technique based. So I feel like if we just go in there, be bullies, follow our rules, mm-hmm. you know, our run game will get established easily. And Jawanza, the last question for both of you: uh, Do you have any pregame rituals that you have? Anything that you have to do before you take care of business on the field? Uh, before every game, uh, running backs we take a lap around the field before every game. But me personally, um, I always pray. You know, I recently lost my grandfather, so I, you know, I sent up a prayer, talked to my mom. My mom always sends me a text. My dad usually tends to send me a little text. My sister might surprise me. But, you know, basically I just – I sleep. I, t- I usually take a nap. I'm not going to lie. I usually take a nap. And that nap, it, you know, I want to wake up. By the time I wake up, I know it's game time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I usually take that nap so, like, I don't overthink or, like, you know, just, like, drive myself crazy trying to w- count down the minutes. No, I just – let me take this quick nap. When I wake up, it's time to go. And, Josh, anything for you? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we do the lap around the field, but usually I just I just try to focus in, listen to music, listen to some Young Thug. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple yes, of sir. great running backs here for the University of Mount Union, Josh Patricelli, Jawanza Evans, Morris. They will take the field against Rose Holman. That will be coming up next. Keep it locked in here on 91.1 WRN.